What's going on, guys? Welcome back to another interview edition of Learn Crypto. My name is Nick Hellman, and with me today is Ian Friend, the COO of Ferrum Network, empowering individuals with decentralized finance. How are you doing today? Great, Nick. Thanks for having me on. Well, I guess if you want to start by just kind of briefly giving us a background on yourself and what is your role within uh, Ferrum Network? Absolutely. So prior to Ferrum, I was uh, working as an attorney in New York City. I got into crypto early 2017, sort of a meaningful way, as just an investor and quickly fell in love with technology and the ethos behind uh, every, you know, the whole entire space, really. And I quickly realized there was a professional opportunity for attorneys, uh, especially at that time, sort of the ICO boom, and there was a lot of activity. So I co-founded the blockchain practice team at the law firm I was working at. And shortly after, as I was looking for clients effectively, I met uh, Naeem, who's uh, my co-founder of Ferrum. And he was working at Bloomberg at the time, working on Ferrum technology at night. And we hit it off uh, and a few months later, we were invited to uh, Consensus 2018 in New York City uh, to pitch the project on the main stage. So we were one of the finalists there. And then things really took off. So it's been a long journey, uh, two, two plus years now, but uh, it's, been, uh, it's been a hell of a ride. Two years and finally uh, Ferrum Network starting to you know, get some recognition, get some things going. So it's really exciting to see. Uh, so for people who know nothing about Ferrum or FRM, what is Ferrum network, network in a nutshell. And then once you kind of give that brief overview, we can hammer deeper in some of the projects you guys are doing. Yeah, sure. So, you know, it's funny. I think back to the topics people were talking about when we first started Ferrum two years ago. And it was, it was all about how do, we, how do we move Bitcoin and cryptocurrencies from a purely speculative place to something that's actually being used for everyday needs. And it's, sort of sad to see that two years later, I'm not sure if we're that much farther along uh, into that journey of mass adoption. So really from day one, that's been Ferrum's focus. Uh, how do we make crypto useful for people? And how do we make it easier for the average person uh, to benefit from this technology, which we think really has the power to change the world. It just uh, hasn't quite been realized yet. So we do this in a number of different ways, starting on the protocol level and then also on the product side. So we just launched a new app we're calling Unifier Wallet, mm -hmm. which solves some of the biggest problems in the space. Um, we have another product in Africa, which is onboarding users, educating users about cryptocurrencies and how they can benefit their lives. And we have uh, a number of other products on the pipeline that effectively allow you to buy, sell, transact, store, and manage your cryptocurrencies in a trustless, secure, and very user-friendly manner. That's the key. Right. Everything we do is just has a user uh, perspective in mind. Right. And you kind of answered uh, my next thesis or question. You know, the overall vision for Ferrum Network, based on my research, seems to be striving to solve the frequently discussed issues in the space, those being interoperability, network speed, user-friendly applications. And, you, you know, I was going to ask, how are you guys achieving those goals? And it sounds like you're already launched uh, some products and you have some more products uh, on the horizon from what I've seen on your website. So I guess we can dig right into this. You know, FRM is the native cryptocurrency and exchange token for several of these existing platforms, as well as some of the other ones we'll discuss during this interview. Um, I guess we can go through each product and you can give us a brief overview of what the product is, how it helps the users, but most importantly, how and why is FRM needed or used on each individual product? And we can kind of see some of these uh, utility token values of FRM. On top of, of course, it can be used as a monetary cryptocurrency like many other cryptocurrencies in the space. So I guess the first right. one would be the one that you have the most recent news for, and that would be First Cootie. Uh, this is an African fiat gateway and payments application. And I'll let you go ahead and uh, discuss the biggest news that I think just came out yesterday as well. Yeah, that's right. So we're really thrilled to announce the uh, issuance uh, uh, and inclusion of a Visa card uh, for our users. Uh, that'll be tied to the app. It'll allow our users to actually spend uh, money that's within their app anywhere Visa is accepted. Uh, we actually had a card 
prior to visa called the Verve card, which is popular in, in uh, Nigeria and other African countries. But our, glo our, our client uh, user base, I should say, is really global in scope. And so we needed a global card to satisfy their needs. Right. And so, yeah, as a matter of fact, we launched, or uh, we announced the launch of the visa card, uh, which we will actually begin shipping to users within the next few weeks. So it's, yeah, very exciting time for First Cootie and really everything we're doing at Faro, uh, frankly. So currently the First Cootie user base is primarily focused in Africa. It's kind of an African-based platform. Is there reason to believe that you guys are looking to expand that globally? Or is the visa then going to expand with First Cootie or is that visa license going to be applied to other platforms that you guys have? So, you know, I'm from the United States. Is there any chance of me using a fair network product a wallet and linking it to that Visa card in the future. Yeah, so the first Kudi application is first and foremost designed to uh, empower Africans uh, with various financial technologies. So uh, you can buy and sell cryptocurrencies. We're actually the first uh, application of its kind in West Africa to uh, issue a or to include a US dollar backed stable coin through uh, our work with Gemini. Um, it has a point of sale system and of course the bank card connected to it. So yes, it is. it has Africa an African focus, but the, the reality is anyone can download First Kuti. You can download it, you can create an account, you can deposit Bitcoin, you can actually sell that Bitcoin for Naira and that's what you could use in your Visa card actually anywhere. Um, and we'll, we'll be working or we'll be rolling out um, different countries as we go, access for different countries as we, as we go. Um, in terms of having a, uni, a visa within the, the, our other product like Unifier Wallet, it's not something that we uh, necessarily have in the pipeline, but there's other uh, means uh, in, where, in which our users can sort of interact with the quote unquote real world using right. our other products. Um, so yeah, I mean, if you look at it together, anyone can, anyone can really use our products. There's certain focuses for different um, products, but um, yeah, you mean there's going to be people who are already reaching out to us and asking to pre-order the Visa card and they live in the United States. That's awesome. Yeah, because I guess anywhere that accepts Visa will then accept that card, so you're good to go. You kind of already mentioned this. This is probably the product that most people are familiar with because it was just recently launched and there is a lot of utility and benefits for FRM token holders within that product, and that is the Unifier wallet. This is the first non-custodial mobile wallet with what you call link drop technology and decentralized private key recovery. Um, so I'll let you discuss it. This one I, I do know more about. Uh, myself and Discord have been using it, playing around with it, trying to get some of the rewards for being FRM holders. Uh, so I'll let you kind of discuss what is the Unifier wallet? What is the key technology uh, for why people like myself are interested in using it, especially moving forward, because I looked at some of your GitHub repositories, so I won't spoil anything, but uh, maybe I'll hit you up on that after <laughs> uh, we get the basic discussion out. And then why why FRM? I mean, I mean FRM is your currency, so why do we need to hold it? Why do we need to use it? And what is it? Perfect. So yeah, you know, we've been working on Unifier for many months now, and, and when we first sort of hit the drawing board, so to speak. Uh, you know, we did, we did market research, obviously. There's, there's tons of wallets out there. So it was critical we needed to differentiate ourselves. Mm -hmm. And we really felt there was a gap in the market in terms of non-custodial wallets that appeal to new users and experienced users alike. And you know, we identified a number of, we think, really fundamental problems in the crypto space that have not been solved. Even though, you know, Bitcoin's over 10 years old, we still have these, these problems that are really impeding mainstream adoption. So one of, one of those is the fact that under normal circumstances, when you go to send cryptocurrency to some, somebody else, you're sending it to a wallet address, which is comprised of a series of letters and numbers. Now to someone who's enmeshed in the crypto space for many years, this might not seem unusual to you. Right. But the reality is if you speak with an average person and you tell them, yeah, I can send you Bitcoin, but first you need to download this wallet. 
find your wallet address, which is a series of random letters and numbers, send it to me and I'll send it to you, send the money to you. And by the way, if I make a mistake, the money's gone forever. Right. So, you know, this sort of thing, which may appear normal to, to us is real is really, I think, limiting the space. So link drop technology solves this problem. We think in a really innovative and, and user friendly manner. So we've developed a system where I can send you cryptocurrency using a link. Um, and what this allows you to do is not only can I share this link anywhere, I could post a link right now in the zoom chat right. that had $10,000 worth of Ethereum. If I felt like it, <laughs> um, send that on over <laughs> <laughs> and you would just click that link and accept that you would, you would, you would claim that transaction. I would be notified that Nick had accepted the transaction. Then I would counter accept. Right. And then it would be sent on chain. Um, and then sent to your, and to your wallet address. Right. And what this, we call this basically double confirmation. And what this does is ensures that both parties know they're dealing with the right person mm -hmm. and that you're not going to accidentally send to the wrong address. Mm -hmm. So, you know, it's, it's these little um, innovations that are actually have massive implications. Right. And, you know, the, the other, the other issue we identified that link drops solves is the fact that prior to link drops, you would have to have a wallet address in advance of me sending you money. Yep. Now you don't need that. Now I can send cryptocurrency over telegram, Twitter, Facebook, email, SMS, doesn't matter. I, you know, I sent, I sent crypto to my dad yesterday in an email. I mean, that's, if you think about that for a second, that's groundbreaking. Right. So, you know, we're, we're, we're extremely excited about what link drop technology has to offer, but that's not all that the unifier wallet is. There's a lot of other innovations built into it, innovations that are coming down the pipeline. You know, you mentioned the GitHub, but um, yeah. And of course we had to tie the Ferrum utility uh, into, into it. Um, we, we try to bake Ferrum utility into all our products, frankly. Right. And so what we developed with respect to the Ferrum token within Unifier is a community uh, listing program which empowers the community to uh, vote on projects that get listed on the app. And then we actually send those tokens of the listed projects to FRM holders. So anyone who holds 100,000 or more Ferrum in the wallet, they get a link drop uh, nearly every week of a different listed project. So Chainlink was listed, Veracity, a project called Anchor, um, which we partnered with. Uh, the last three weeks, we've actually sent uh, link drops via an email to anyone in the wallet who holds 100,000 or more Ferrum. And, and the more you hold, uh, the more benefits you get. So there's a three-tiered structure. Uh, but, but, you know, bottom line, we felt it was critical to include some uh, FRM utility. And right. the reaction has been tremendous. Uh, there's, there's probably about 35 million Ferrum being held in Unifier wallets. Uh -huh as of now, and the app is three weeks old, that's about a third of the circulating supply. Wow, that's pretty crazy. I mean, you see a lot of staking projects that are happy when they get to a 30% lockup, and you guys have done it in three weeks just with this Unifier wallet. Uh, so to wrap it up on Unifier wallet, you know, the link drop technology to me is really interesting because A, you, there needs to be double confirmation. So that almost takes it even a step further than PayPal because so, for example, right now I'm selling a bunch of stuff that my buddy inherited on eBay. And he's like, oh, send it to my PayPal. So I type in his name, I send him 5,000 bucks, whatever it is. And he doesn't even have to double confirm. So if I misspell the email address and that's an actual PayPal username, that money might go to somebody else. And I can try to get it back because there's a third party in PayPal, but there's no guarantee on top of all the fees as well. So I think it, it's, it's cool to see smart contracts being utilized without the average person knowing about them and being able to double confirm that transaction. Now, right now, that's great, grand. I can send you money with the link drop. But based on GitHub and rumors, I think you guys are trying to take that a step further to uh, pool the link drops where I can send money to multiple people all with one link and it'll separate it up. So if I want to send 100 bucks to 10 of my friends, they can each claim it, get 10 bucks each. I can confirm all of them and it's done. And that's awesome as well. 
maybe we're doing fantasy football or something like that and we're paying out a pool. So, I mean, if you want to discuss, I mean, this isn't official stuff, so I don't know. You can say, no, you're an idiot. You read the code wrong if that's what you want no, to do. No, that's it. I mean, I think you that's hit the on the head. <laughs> that, that was a perfect description of pool drops, which uh, we've hinted at. It's not really, um, you know, confidential information at this point. Uh, in fact, it's about to move into beta testing and it should be released within a week or two. So, right. um, you know, we view this as really a, a, a tremendous way for influencers, especially to engage with their community, make distributing far easier. Um, of course, you lose, you actually use less gas fees in this process as well. And of course, also becomes an, an incredible user acquisition tool for us because as, as you send 10, 15, 20, um, you know, crypto to 10 to that many people at once, these, they, they're actually required to, of course, download the app and, and create an account and everything to accept the money. Right. So, you know, we're, we're looking forward to rolling out this feature with the help of some major influencers behind us who will be showcasing it to their communities. Right. Um, and of course, yeah, it's great on Twitter. And uh, the fantasy football idea, right. that's a hey, new one. Know, I like that. I might have to do a, my fantasy football team as well. <laughs> yeah, I'm starting to get some, you know, I've been in the crypto space for a long time. And the funny thing is a lot of my friends still don't own crypto or they're like, oh, I bought a little bit back in 2016 because you said so. I don't really do anything with it. But this is an easy way. They're like, hey, here, I sent you 10, 100 FRM. If you want them, you just got to download this wallet. They pop in. There you go. So I think that's a really powerful tool. And then, you know, we already have a couple ideas when pool drops are live that maybe during our live shows, random will we'll throw a link in the live chat to keep people engaged. The first 10 people that grab it, get the FRM. Uh, so I think it's interesting. It'll be a great use case. And like you said, more importantly, besides the people in here, the influencers, whatever marketing tool, it's good to get new people into the space. They download apps on their phone all the time. This is nothing different. The only thing out is if you download this, I would remind you, remind your friends, to make sure you back up that, that passphrase because that is your private key, that is your password for the wallet. If that is lost, all your FRM, all the rewards you've got for listings uh, will be lost as well. So make sure to write that down, put it in the safe place. Um, I like to remind people on that because a lot of people don't understand that in this space, but you really got to go that extra step with security uh, to make sure you don't lose your funds. No, absolutely. I'm glad you mentioned that actually. We've uh, we've wanted to sit, we've simplified that process as well, actually. And that's what you mean by decentralized private key recovery, which is another core feature of the product. Um, so yes, of course, everyone should back up their private key and we give you multiple means of doing so. You have the traditional method of writing down the seed phrase, which, uh, we always recommend, um, you know, it's very secure. I used to keep that seed phrase, uh, offline somewhere safe in your house. Only, you know, where it is and what it is. But for those new, newer users who, like you said, are maybe new to the crypto space, which is, again, our, sort of our target market with this product, that might be an intimidating step. That might be a confusing step. That might be something that throws them off. So we wanted to introduce another method that was easier and a little bit more akin to sort of a traditional pass, passphrase, right? Um, now, obviously, you do have a passphrase as well to add to... Um, uh, access your wallet, you can enable that. But what I'm talking about is something that we do with the private key and with Google uh, Cloud, actually. So we uh, break down the private key, some part of it stored on your device, other part on the cloud. And to when you recover, it's really just a quick click of a button. You just do recover and your wallet pops back up. So in case you lose your phone, you need to, uh, you know, you redownload the app on the new phone you can recover the wallet in this fashion with really the click of a button. So it's another just little benefit for, especially for those new users. Um, and I got to say, I mean, my, a lot of my friends like yours, maybe sort of on the periphery of crypto got into the hype phase, whatever, maybe don't right. know a lot. I've been showing them unifier and they've been blown away. Um, they've been loving it. And, and so I think it's really just a testament to, how user friendly this wallet is. Um, and, you know, of course, where we're going with it, I think is even more exciting because we're going to allow our users to actually buy and sell cryptocurrency directly for fiat. Right. So for those new people that buy, you know, they buy, they may buy FRM, they may buy Ethereum and all the other tokens listed on the wall. How do you then sell it? Normally you have to go back to an exchange. Right. It's this whole 
process, multiple steps, many fees. So we, we really want to eliminate that and allow users to buy and sell cryptocurrencies for fiat peer to peer. And that's probably the big, big, big feature that we're working on that should be rolled out in the next uh, two, three, four months, um, which I really think can take Unifier and Ferrum Network to that next level. Right. Um, well, the, it's solving huge problems. We'll definitely have to get another interview when that gets closer to kind of see, you know, what's going on with that. Is FRM almost like an exchange token there? I know you guys have been bouncing around the idea of going to mainnet so all these link drops would occur on Ferrum's actual network versus right now you guys are still tied into the Ethereum network and the gas fees associated with that. So we'll see. I mean, I'm sure that's up for debate uh, based on if Ethereum 2.0 ever gets launched or what the, you know, the requirements are for that. So we'll you know, but we'll definitely stay in touch and we'll see if we can get you on again once that gets closer. So, I mean, that really covers First Cootie and Unifier Wallet, which are the two launched applications for Ferrum Network that utilize FRM. I know coming soon, you also have something called the Infinity Dex, which is a cross-chain Dex with advanced DeFi features like decentralized uh, margin trading. And then you guys also have the Sub-Zero Wallet, where it's almost like a hardware wallet, but it, you can use an old unused Android as that safe hardware wallet. Do you, do you want to kind of talk about both of those products? When are they coming? Do again, do they use FRM? And uh, just give us a little bit of background on those. I know they're not launched, but I know some, they're coming soon. And I think on one of them, you can actually uh, sign, like register now to be a participant in that. Yeah, sure. So we have a number of products on the pipeline and there's, there's actually things we're thinking of and cooking up that aren't even on, on the website or anything. So, I mean, you stick with Ferrum for long enough and, and, I, and uh, we have some pretty special stuff coming down. So, you know, I do want to touch on the mainnet real quick because that technology that we're building within the mainnet is actually what enables some of what you see on uh, particularly the infinity decks, for example. So, you know, one of the issues you touched on, is, you know, the fact that Unifier and pretty much all of crypto runs on Ethereum, which, you know, look, it's, it's great. Uh, you know, we love Ethereum. Not, I'm, not, I'm not here to knock it. But the reality is, in at least the past three, four weeks, gas fees have been outrageously high. Right. 50 cents or so to confirm transactions. I mean, it's just not reasonable, especially when you're talking about people from emerging markets who may be only buying a couple dollars worth of cryptocurrencies are paying 50 cents um, to the Ethereum network miners. I mean, it's just not sustainable in, in our view. So Ferrum network is designed to solve the problems of slow speeds and high costs of these other networks. What it essentially does is allows those other networks to be plugged into the Ferrum network. And then using our interoper interoperability protocol, users can exchange and transact those assets, Bitcoin, Ethereum, Ripple, Binance chain, any asset that's plugged in right. that may originate from another chain. And you exchange and transact them far faster and far cheaper than you could if you're using, say, the Bitcoin network or the Ethereum network. Now, the um, sort of other unique thing about this, it'll be obviously be running on the back end uh, and, and uh, our, our products will be we're running on top of it, but we won't require the users to use the Ferrum network. Obviously we think there's inherent uh, benefits to it. Uh, you know, running a transaction using Ferrum network is going to cost about one cent in Ferrum, um, which results in it being burned. Um, but we don't force the users, right? A lot of projects force people to convert everything to mainnet. Then the mainnet's not really supported by exchanges right. and, you, it, it sort of is often the death knell of a lot of projects. And everyone hypes it up, mainnet, mainnet, mainnet happens, and then the pro, and then no one hears from that project again. So we obviously don't want that to happen to Ferrum. We want to give users the option. Okay, do you, you want to you want to run this transaction on Ethereum, or you want to run this same transaction on Ferrum? And so yeah, we're really excited to integrate that with Unifier and the other uh, products. So, I mean, the first really the, the next step, that major step after Unifier and the and the peer to peer trading platform is built is to finish the main net, which is now just a private test net. Um, and you can see demos of how it works on, on our YouTube. Um, so once we build the main net, then that unlocks uh, certain features that can be utilized on say the infinity decks, 
-hmm. which is a, as a cross-chain decentralized exchange, you need a cross-chain protocol right. for it to work on. And so, yeah, the FIDO Dex will, will roll out after the main net. But I, I, I really, I think actually, I'm not sure what the roadmap says currently. We're, we're sort of fluid with the roadmap and we got to be really up on top of the trends and stuff. So right. we're not really wedded to whatever the roadmap says. But the reality is we want to launch Sub-Zero Wallet uh, pretty soon as well because we think that also uh, represents a huge gap in the market, uh, especially for those in, in places like Africa or, or other emerging markets where they might not have access to a thumb drive based right. cold storage at uh, or uh, Trezor or something. Yeah, like that. exactly. Those, you know, those companies um, often don't even ship to many countries. And of course they can cost a hundred to $200, which is out of the financial right. reach yeah. of, of many people. And so, yeah, Sub-Zero is going to be a cold storage application that you install onto an old Android phone. Uh, and then you remove the SIM card, you take the phone offline. This provides you really two layers of, of security and encryption. You have the Android layer, you have our layer of security. So it's actually extremely secure. But I think the key is that it's more user friendly and it's more accessible from a price standpoint because right. anyone can go down to their local store or kiosk and pick up a used Android phone for $10. Right. Download this app, which apps are easier to use, I think, than thumb drives. I right. mean, I, I still can barely figure out how to use my ledger. Right. <laughs> right. I mean, they've done a little better, but yeah, you need the thumb drive, you need to plug it in, then you need to download the software onto your computer, which maybe some of these people don't have a standing desktop or laptop as well in emerging markets. Um, so now you need a hundred bucks for the thumb drive. You need 500 bucks for a computer and then you need to merge them together in order to make the process work. Uh, so I think what you're saying is, Hey, you download an app. Everybody has apps. You can go buy an old phone for 10 bucks. You're used to using an Android cause you have a good iPhone or Android. And then you can, you, your cold storage crypto then becomes more fluid. You can probably move it off easier from there to the unifier wallet and spend it or do whatever you need to do. Exactly. Yeah. You with just with a series of QR codes, you can move it back and forth. Um, it becomes more mobile, right? Ledgers and treasures aren't, aren't really very mobile. I mean, so there's a whole host of benefits to doing it this way. So it's, it's a product that we're, you know, we, we have a lot in the pipeline. We have a lot coming up, but it's again, it's something I'm really thrilled uh, that we're going to be working on soon. Um, and, and, and yeah, I mean, you know, when it, when it comes to Ferrum, there's, there's no shortage of, I think, exciting and, and useful products that we're building. Right. Uh, but of course, it just takes time to do these things. So, right. I mean, we're, it's one step at a time. Yeah, and that's why this interview was interesting to me because usually I can do these interviews and kind of hone in on their one product. You guys have two products launched, two more coming, a couple more ideas. So, trying to kind of keep the focus there. And uh, of course, if we need to grab you again, we'll try to grab you to talk more about the new product releases, more about FRM. Uh, we've hit on First Cootie, which is the African Fiat Gateway that you're trying to go global with the Visa card. We've hit on Unifier Wallet, which I recommend all of you download. The link will be in the description below. Um, if you hold 100K FRM, any new coin that is listed, you will receive some of those coins. If you hold 250K FRM, you not only get the new coin, but you also get an FRM bonus. So you can fatten up that FRM bag a little bit. So that's exciting. Who doesn't like that? Now we're talking about the rewards of Unifier Wallet. Is there a new listing that's coming soon? I saw a vote on Twitter. Is there any partnerships behind the scenes that maybe you can't discuss yet, but maybe those lead to most more listings? And uh, more importantly, people are like, well, great. Unifier looks great. FRM looks great. It's on a couple exchanges, BitMEX, whatever. You know, I see a tie to Gemini. I hear rumors in the background about maybe a partnership with another exchange. Do you have more liquidity pools coming for FRM as well? Yeah, so... There's a number of questions in there. Uh, let's start with just the next listing and potential partnerships. So yeah, we, uh, as I mentioned earlier, we do the community listings, um, but we also do partnership listings too. So yes, we have a community uh, vote running now. I believe Quant is in the lead, followed by Unibrite. Um, so, you know, there's, I think there's three more days to vote. Get out there, you know, let, like, you know, let your opinion uh, be heard. Everyone gets a vote. You don't have to be a fair molder. Um, and we'll see who wins within the next couple of days. And then, yeah, shortly after we'll do the snapshot. Who has the, who has enough, uh, Ferrum in their wallet. 
list the token, send out uh, 1500 bucks or so worth of that um, token to the farm holders. And then, like you said, people get a matching bonus if they hold more. So yeah, that should be coming in the next three, four days, that next listing. Of course, partnerships, there's always things going on in the background, talking to a number of interesting projects now who are, who are really keen on listing on the wallet um, and doing some cross marketing with them and, you know, partnership, you know, different forms of partnership. Um, one actually exchange that we're talking to, it's an up and coming exchange that I'm pretty excited about. Hopefully that uh, should be revealed soon um, as, as a partnership and listing a new exchange. I don't want people right. to get me, <laughs> take me wrong <laughs> here when you, cause you got, you got to be careful about exchanges. <laughs> yeah. But, in, but, it, but, but talking about exchange listings for Ferrum, it's something we're always uh, looking at and probing, um, you know, for a smaller cap project like ourselves that had a lower raise. Um, you have to think of different creative ways to get listed on the bigger exchanges because, you know, shelling out two, two hundred thousand, three hundred thousand dollars is really not tenable for us. Uh, uh, so, you know, really the long term plan is to continue to grow the community, grow the user base. Obviously, we have a lot of traders behind us already, a strong community behind us already. Leverage those strengths and then approach some of the bigger exchanges from a position of strength. And, right. um, you know, pay, you know, paying a listing fee is one thing, paying a 200 or $300,000 listing fee is another thing entirely. So um, we're always working on it. Um, and certainly we encourage, you know, the community to get involved. Everyone has a part to play, right? right. Um, our community is fantastic, very passionate. They get what we're doing. They see the long-term vision they're holding. Uh, Ferrum tokens, they're, you know, they're being emailed, uh, tokens for, for, for doing that. Um, so we just need them to continue that passion. And when the time comes for another exchange listing, we'll certainly let everybody know, but, uh, yeah, it's something we're always working on, of course. Right. Some exciting times. Uh, so there you go, guys, get out there. Unibright community, quant community. I don't know who else is on the poll, but get on there, vote for the project that you, uh, may have passion for vote for the project that you want to receive in the link drop for being a Ferrum holder. And if you own FRM, I would definitely recommend getting them on the Unifier wallet to earn some of those rewards. Uh, just another utility of the FRM token. Is there really anything that I've missed before we start wrapping this up pertaining to Ferrum Network, pertaining to any of your products or pertaining to the FRM token? I don't think so. I just want to thank you for your time, Nick, and remind everyone, join our community if you haven't already. If anyone has ever has any questions about Ferrum, you know where to find me. I'm on Twitter, Telegram. You know, we're working 24 seven to bring you guys value, make Ferrum a huge success. You know, our goal is to change the crypto space, make it easier, bring millions of new people on board. And we really just, you know, we need your support and uh, yeah, let's, let's keep, uh, let's keep rolling here. Yeah. I'm excited for that. Thanks for coming on here. We'll definitely have to have you on again. Uh, everybody, let me know your thoughts on Ferrum network and the Ferrum token below in the comment section. Uh, all the important links will be in the description of the comment section as well. I would definitely check out ferrum.network if you want some more information. That is the hub of all information as that is their main website. And uh, I'm excited for your current and future innovative products here at Ferrum Network and FRM. Um, you can probably tell by my enthusiasm that I do hold some FRM. I'm trying to do some more research uh, to see if I want to continue to hold and use FRM moving forward. So thanks for having you. Until next time, guys, stay tuned for your daily updates on cryptocurrencies right here at Learn Crypto.